I know everyone has an opinion on what you should do before you start nursing school, but my friend, <laughs> there are really only three things that you should be focusing on before you start nursing school. And I'm gonna walk you through them in this video so you can get a massive head start and pass your exams. Let's do it. Nursing school is tough. And there is a lot that you can do to set yourself up for success early though, even before the term begins. Trust me, you don't want to feel behind the first week of the term. So I'm going to go through my best tips for you here in this video to help you get prepared and rock nursing school. You can do it. So there are a few misconceptions that we have to clear up before I give you my top three things to do to prepare for nursing school. Now, the biggest misconception that everyone will tell you to do is to read your textbooks before your courses start. Now, friend, do not waste your valuable time on that. Just don't do it, please. Right now, before nursing school starts, you don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know how things are gonna run at your nursing school. You don't know the basics uh, for nursing and your brain is just going to explode with new information in the first two weeks of the term. So I don't recommend that you try and work ahead and read everything that you can because you just don't know what to focus on and you won't retain the most important things that you will be tested on. So it will just be a waste of time for you. But I do recommend that you learn how to answer med, math, or dose calc questions. That will be a huge stress saver for you when you start nursing school. Learn how to do dimensional analysis like I talk about here in this video and you will be golden, my friend, for your dose calc exam. Now, within the first two weeks of your term in nursing school, you are going to have a math test. So friend, if you look at one thing before you start your courses, please have it be dose calc. Now, the next thing that I recommend that you do do to prepare for nursing school is to plan ahead for meals. Now, I did this all throughout nursing school where we would plan out our menu so we always knew what we were eating and when for our family. It just takes all of the guesswork out of dinner time and it saves you from those last minute trips to the grocery store because those take so much time. So we used crock pots more than anything else. Seriously, <laughs> talk about a time saver. Those are what we used for the vast majority of our meals during nursing school. And even now we still use it. Uh, it can be super easy since you can just pop dinner in and let it cook all day long. It's really set it and forget it, which is a huge blessing when you're in nursing school and crunched on time because you're spending all day at school and at clinical, right? So take some time and compile a list of your favorite recipes and schedule them out for at least the first two weeks of your semester. So that way you you know what you're having and when, and you'll need to make one shopping trip uh, to get all the groceries, which is going to save you so much time and stress. And even better, if you can cook enough for dinner to have leftovers for lunch the next day, that will really save you a lot of time too. Now, the next thing that you'll wanna do is to get organized, of course. And there are three things that I highly recommend that you do before the term starts. Get all of your clinical requirements organized and done. Okay, organize your desk, your workspace, wherever you plan on studying, and of course, clean your house and organize your house. So to start, get all of your clinical requirements done. Seriously, I saw this happen so often in nursing school. Students would wait to get all their clinical requirements done, like update their vaccinations, uh, do their background checks, or update their BLS certification. And most clinical sites will require you to have some documentation completed before you start clinicals. And you don't want to miss a day or two of clinicals because you just didn't get your paperwork in, right? So get it done early even before the term starts. You'll probably get an email either from the school or from the clinical site you'll be at that lists out all the requirements that you need to complete. So seriously, friend, just get these done. <laughs> just do it. Uh, so you don't have to be doing them during the first couple weeks of your term. It's one less thing to worry about. Now, the next thing that you want to do is organize your study area. So pick a quiet place to study, preferably somewhere that's convenient for you, where you'll be spending a lot of your time, right? Then organize it. 
make sure that you have everything there that you need, uh, like all your books, your highlighters, your notebook paper, your whiteboards, whiteboards, flashcards, uh, all of the stuff, <laughs> right? Just make sure that it's all stocked with everything you need so you don't need to go chasing things around uh, once school starts. And then of course, you'll also want to clean and organize your house. It will be one less thing to worry about get the deep cleaning done. So make sure that your kitchen is clean, your bathroom, the shower, oh goodness, the shower, clear off the dining room table, uh, organize your kids' rooms if you have energy for that. Oh my. Uh, just make sure that it's not a total train wreck. Uh, the last thing you want to have happen is to be studying for a major exam and then look around the house and see everything a total mess. That will just add on to your stress. So take the opportunity now to clean everything up before school starts. Now that goes without saying, but of course, if you have kiddos, you know, especially little kiddos, your house will get messy every day. That's totally fine. I know all about that. There's a difference though between being messy and dirty. So just make sure that your house isn't dirty, right? And that will really go a long way to reducing your stress. Now, along the lines of kiddos, make sure that you have a backup childcare ready to go in case you need it. Now, sick days, of course, they're gonna happen when you have children. So making sure that you have backup childcare in place for clinical days or lecture days, that is going to save you so much stress. You're not going to have to scramble if something happens last minute, right? The last thing you want to have happen is if you have a huge exam like the dose calc exam and then not be able to make it because your children are home sick from school. Like we talked about before, friend, that dose calc exam is a huge deal. You must pass it in order to stay in your program. So be sure you click on this video and I'll walk you through how to get every single dose calc question right so you can pass that exam. You are going to do amazing. Go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll see you over there in that video.